Okay, so how are we all doing? And um, today, and um, we're going to make um, a chicken curry um, with fried rice. Okay, so we have our curry powder, and um, we have our coconut milk, we have our salt, our pepper, we have some chives, and we have some uh, ginger, and some garlic, onion, uh, peppers, red, green, and yellow pepper, some stock cubes. We also have some turmeric, and we have our chicken fillets. We have our eggs for our fried rice. We have um, our basmati rice, our long grain rice, and we have um, our tomato a puree as well as our stock cubes. Okay, so all the ingredients here um, is going to make um, a nice mild uh, chicken curry um, with fried rice. Okay, so what we're going to do is now we're going to start prepping up um, and, and uh, measuring out um, all our ingredients. And um, so we cut our peppers in half. And we took the insides out of peppers. Okay, we've peeled our onion, and we have our garlic here peeled, we have our ginger peeled, we have our st two uh, stock cubes, we have a teaspoon of turmeric, and we have um, a table, heat tablespoon of curry powder, moil curry powder, and we have um, a tablespoon uh, um, of tomato puree. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is now. And we're going to start preparing, we're going to prep up um, our vegetables um, and we're going to put our, our sauce um, together. And we've also have our kettle on, we're going to make our stock, our uh, stock for our sauce and we have um, our cup um, of rice, our large cup of rice. We're probably going to get four to six portions um, out of um, that uh, for the rice. Okay, so we have our kettle on boiling. Um, and we're going to start, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our rice on to cook and we're going to make our stock and we're going to prep up um, our vegetables um, and cut up um, our chicken, our chicken fillets, which are chicken breasts. Okay, so we're going to get start putting things together. So here we are, um, we've prepped up um, all our veg and um, we've uh, finely chopped um, half an onion Finely chopped half a green pepper, half a red pepper, um, and half a yellow. Okay, we have our uh, garlic and we have our ginger. Okay, prepared for our sauce, um, and then we have our sliced onions, our sliced uh, peppers, and um, for our garnish. Our garnish is we're going to put that to them in the end. Okay, so we've diced our chicken and um, fill it up. Okay, now you can buy the chicken um, already uh, diced up, or if you prefer, just to buy the chicken fillets. Um, and um, dice them up yourself. Okay, so we've used two separate boards, uh, one for the veg um, and, and one for uh, the raw meat. Okay, it's very important to wash your hands um, after every uh, duty um, you do. Okay, so all our prep is done. Um, our vegetables are all prepped up, our onions, our peppers, our ginger and our garlic um, and also uh, our peppers are sliced then for our garnish for the end of the sauce. And we have our tomato puree, um, our curry sauce, our turmeric, all weighed out and ready to go. And we have um, our rice um, ready. And we're just going to ask, add in some water and um, boiling water and um, into our rice. Okay. And then we're going to um, make our stock as well, our vegetable stock. Okay, for our curry sauce. Okay. So what we're going to do is now we're just going to turn on um, the gas. We're going to make um, our stock. We're going to cook out our rice. Our rice is probably going to take about 30 minutes um, to cook out. Um, and then when the rice is cooked out, what we'll do is then um, we will uh, wash it off and um, wash all the starch out. Okay, so our stock is in the process of being made. Our rice is, is, is in the process of being cooked. So we're going to start putting the sauce together. Okay, so we've, we're just adding um, some salt um, some seasoning um, into um, our rice, our Himalayan salt. Okay, um, our stock um, is, uh, is, is boiling away there. We're just going to put it on simmer. Our rice has come to the boil, so we're just going to put that on simmer. So in the meantime, what we're going to do is in the big pot here, um, we're going to put some oil in. We're going to heat up the oil, and then we're going to start frying off um, the chicken. Okay, so we're going to fry off um, the chicken. Doing is now we're adding our chicken um, into um, the hot um, pot. 
Okay, so the chicken is in the pot here. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a bit of a stir around. Okay, the stir so so that it doesn't stick. I'm gonna seal it off. Okay, I'm gonna seal off our chicken. Okay. Chicken is uh, cooking away there. We're going to add in some salt, and we're going to add um, in some uh, black pepper um, as well, just to flavour and um, cook the chicken. Okay. We're also going to add um, in our garlic, some of our garlic, and some of our ginger. Okay. So we're going to give that a good stir. I'm going to cook it out for about 10 or 15 minutes, seal it off, okay, and let it cook away. So as you can see here, we have a very busy cooker, um, our stock is ready, our rice um, is not far off and um, being cooked, um, our chicken um, is, is sealed off, and um, there's some nice flavour of uh, some garlic and some ginger um, gone through it, so um, to give a little bit of more flavour uh, to our uh, chicken, we're just going to add um, in a teaspoon um, of curry powder just for to give the chicken um, a little bit of um, curried flavour. Okay, so our chicken um, is more or less uh, sealed off. It's been cooking away there for the last um, 10 minutes. So we're going to take our chicken off. We're going to put it um, in a separate bowl. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to start um, putting um, our sauce um, together. Our um, rice is nearly done, um, it's, it's been on for the last um, 15 minutes, so another 5 minutes and we'll be washing um, the rice um, on. So our rice is nearly ready now, another couple of minutes and it's ready to be washed off. So what we're going to start doing is now, we're going to start making our sauce, okay? So we've taken um, our par cooked chicken, um, our chicken is, is about 75% um, cooked and sealed off, okay? And we have to be careful that we don't overcook it. We're going to keep all the sediment um, and all the juices um, of the chicken um, in the pot. And what we're going to start doing is now, we're going to start frying um, or sweating off um, our, uh, our diced um, vegetables. So we have our peppers, we have our peppers, we have our onions, we have our garlic, and we have some of our ginger in here. So we're just waiting for the pot and the oil to heat back up again. And what we're going to do is, and we're going to uh, we're going to um, make sure um, to uh, sweat off um, the veg um, in the oil. Okay, so our, our our oil is starting to heat up now. Um, you can see it there. You can hear it sizzling. It's starting to heat up. So as soon as that gets the sizzling point, and um, we're going to add in um, our our vegetables, and we're going to start cooking them away. Okay. So we're adding in um, our vegetables and we're going to sweat them off. Okay. Just get to the store there and we sweat off our veg. So we've taken our rice off and what we've done is um, we've put our rice um, into a strainer. And what we're doing is now we're cooling the rice down and we're washing um, all the starch out of the rice. Okay. So we're just washing all the, the starch um, out of um, the rice. Okay, so we're just going to let the water um, run away in that just for a couple of minutes. Okay, just for about two or three minutes. Cool down the rice and to um, wash out um, all the starch out of the rice. You can see here um, our vegetables, um, our onions, peppers, uh, garlic and ginger um, is frying off. So what we're going to do is now we're going to start making a paste. Okay, so we're going to add in um, our tomato puree. Okay, we're going to give a good store. We're going to add um, in our um, tablespoon um, of heat tablespoon of curry powder. So we're starting to make our paste now, our curry paste um, for our sauce. Okay, you can see it's very important to a good store. We're going to add in our turmeric now. Okay, so our turmeric is in. So there we have a nice paste. So we're just going to let that cook out for a few minutes 
and then we're going to add um, in our coconut milk. So there we go, our paste um, is, is, is nearly ready. So we're just going to add um, in our small tin of coconut milk. Okay, so we're just going to give that a good stir. Give it a good stir. This is going to form our nice mild um, curry paste. And we're going to add um, our stock. Okay, so you can see it there. Our nice mild curry paste and um, is starting um, to take shape. Okay. So what we're going to do is then, we're going to add um, in our stock, okay? So we're just adding in um, our stock that we've, the vegetable stock um, that we prepared earlier. We're just going to give it a whisk, okay? Give that a good whisk. We're going to bring it back to the boil and then we're going to let it simmer. So you can see here, the curry sauce um, is starting um, to take shape, okay? Smell the flavours um, in there, the ginger, um, the garlic, curry powder, the turmeric, um, and the vegetables, the stock and the curry powder. Okay, so our chicken is relaxing here. Okay, we're going to add our chicken in um, when our sauce um, is, 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 is cooked out. Okay, so we're going to cook the sauce out for about 15 minutes. As you can see here, um, our curry sauce after being cooking out there for the last uh, 20 minutes all right so what we're going to do is now okay we're just going to have simmer it on so it's lovely color lovely consistency so what we're going to do is now and um, we're going to add in um, our chicken okay and we're going to finish off and um, the cooking um, of our chicken now it's very important that you don't um, overcook the chicken we're just going to put the chicken in for another um, uh, you know 10 minutes so we're going to cook out the chicken um, the chicken is already par cooked, we sealed it off earlier on and we cooked it out for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes on the pan. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook our chicken out now for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes um, in our sauce. Okay, so we have it on simmer, so we're just letting this, uh, the chicken cook away. So in the meantime, we have our rice. Our rice is all strained and it's ready to go. We're just letting all the excess water um, just uh, kind of um, drip off um, the rice because we need our rice nice and dry um, for when we're going to do the egg uh, fried um, rice. Okay, so we're making good progress now and um, everything is starting to come together. Okay, so again our chicken is in our curry sauce. We're just going to let it uh, cook out for another 10 to 15 minutes and we're going to add in um, our uh, raw stripped um, onions um, and peppers and um, just for the give and um, the curry and um, a little bit um, of a bite and um, towards the end okay so everything is starting to come together Here we go our chicken curry is more or less ready okay we're gonna add the last uh, few bits and pieces into the chicken curry which is the uh, stripped vegetables okay we're just gonna give it a nice crisp and um, kind of uh, taste and flavor to it so our sauce is after taking it away and um, there with the curry powder um, and, and, and all the ingredients, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let that simmer now for, for five minutes, okay? We have our rice, we put our rice into a bowl. So what we're going to do is now, and um, we're gonna put our rice into the microwave, we're gonna heat up um, our rice um, for about uh, uh, five uh, minutes um, in the microwave, okay? We have uh, two eggs here, we have two eggs. So what we're going to do now with the eggs is we're going to beat up the eggs and um, while our rice um, is heating up in the microwave. Okay, so the two eggs are going to be for the egg and fried um, rice. Okay, so there we go. Okay, our eggs are beaten up. Okay, nice and good. Okay, we're going to turn on the gas underneath our pan. Okay, we're just going to let our pan um, heat up. Um, and what we're going to do is then um, we're going to um, add our eggs. We're going to scramble our eggs um, in the pan, like so. We have our pan heating up here. And we're just going to add them um, in, in some oil, okay, some olive oil, okay. We're just going to let that heat up, okay. And when that gets hot, what we're going to do is then we're going to scramble um, the egg um, on the pan. Go, um, our pan is nice and hot, so we're going to add in our egg. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to scramble uh, the egg like so um, on the pan. Okay, we're going to cook out our egg. 
we're going to add in um, some salt and um, some pepper and um, also uh, just for some seasoning. Okay, so again, you see here, our egg is, is cooking away um, on the pan. We're just scrambling it, okay, get it uh, cook out. Okay, we're breaking it up into bits and pieces. We're going to add in some salt and um, we're going to add in a small bit of pepper, okay, just for a bit of seasoning. And we're just going to continue to scramble um, the egg. Okay, so the egg is scrambling away there. Okay, and then as soon as the egg is scrambled, we're going to add in our hot rice. We're after taking our hot rice now out of the microwave. Okay, so we're going to add um, our rice now um, to our scrambled egg. Okay, so we just added half um, at a time. Okay, and we're just going to give a good stir up. Okay, and you can see the effect now. The egg with fried rice um, is starting um, to come together now. Okay, so just to give it a good stir, make sure that the egg um, and the rice is all um, evenly mixed. Okay, so we're just going to add in the rest of the rice. Okay, and we're just going to give it a stir. So we're just going to let that, um, going to stir it away and just let it, um, you know, just mix away and uh, cook away uh, for about uh, five minutes um, on a on a medium. You know, we don't want the, the gas up uh, too high because we don't want our fried rice um, to boil. Okay, so we're nearly ready for service. Our curry is here. It's after thickening up nicely. Our vegetables are nice and crisp. Um, our sauce is ready and um, our chicken is cooked. Okay, so we're going to start putting um, the chicken curry and fried rice together now. Two ways um, of serving um, the fried rice. Um, what I like to do is, um, I've just got um, a cup here and I filled it full of rice and I compress the rice um, into the cup um, just as a mould and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the cup um, on the plate like so and that's going to form a pyramid. Okay, the other way um, that you can serve um, the fried rice is, is just um, would be um, to uh, put the rice um, to put the rice um, you know around and um, the edge of the plate okay put the rice around the edge of the plate and then just to um, to put the curry and um, sauce then and um, right in the middle okay so what we're going to do is now we're going to start serving up the curry so here we go on the rice on the plate like so to start off uh, in the middle like so okay and then what you do is then you make a nice little hollow little um, you know little hole um, in, in the middle there a well in the middle okay so what we're going to do is now is we're going to start filling um, it up and um, with curry sauce okay so there we go and um, there we have um, our chicken curry um, in the middle um, of our rice that's one way of serving it we've just put some chives on the top of it just to give it a little bit of colour um, or we have the, the, the mug where we fill the, the mug full of rice and we pressed it down and then we emptied out on the plate, okay? So you can serve uh, chips um, with your curry um, or just the traditional way, just with uh, fried rice and chips. Here we are, we've just um, served, uh, cooked off some oven chips um, to go with our chicken curry. So we have a side plate um, of chips and we have a traditional way of uh, serving um, our uh, curry there with the rice around the side and the curry in the middle. Or we have our pyramid, we have our chips to the side, we have our pyramid of rice and then we have um, our chicken curry um, to the side. So please um, give it a go. Um, it should take um, no more than an hour to make. Okay, um, for four portions of chicken curry there, um, you're talking about uh, 18 euros um, for all um, the ingredients. Okay, so that looks really, really nice. It's worked out really well. So please have a go and enjoy.